Does lightning strike the same place twice? That's what we're gonna find out today. Friends, welcome back to the Brave New Wear Show. My name's Christian. I'm asking you again, take a look at these two jackets. It's easier to tell them apart. They're both Levi's denim jackets, but the price difference is pretty significant. So after the success of my Carhartt Detroit video, I started thinking about what other brands might be similar culprits. And I, of course, landed on Levi's, one of the most recognizable clothing brands in the world. The inventor of the blue jeans, and at any given point, somewhere around 50% of the population of Earth might be wearing some kind of jeans at any moment. I have on my body a trucker shirling jacket that retails for about $60 from Levi's. And on the wall, we've got one also from Levi's that retails for around $300. And I was curious once again, whether it's a matter of quality difference, design difference, or if this is all just branding, like different sub brands, kind of similar to Carhartt Whip, demanding a much higher price. And I wanna get into it because Unlike Carhartt Whip, where I'm just kind of speculating quality differences, we've got this one, we've got this one, but we also have some vintage Levi's that these garments are based on that we can compare to. So stay tuned, let's dive in and figure out what exactly is going on with these jackets. So one of the interesting details about Levi's is they have a number of sub brands. Unlike Cart, which I talked about before, which only has like one sub brand, Levi's has a multitude. And they all seem to, at least in name, indicate different levels of quality or style. And right off the bat, these two Sherpa jackets do look different. But if it's design and maybe marketing alone, I don't think that's a fair deal. Like, say if you were shopping for two different Uggs, and one Ugg of a kind of different style was something like 300 times more expensive, that would be a ripoff. This Levi's jacket isn't just straight up typical old Levi's brand. It's actually Levi's Premium. And the reason I picked this one is because this is quote unquote their vintage fit uh, Sherpa jacket and I wanted this fit to compare to an actual vintage fit line Levi's jacket. On the other hand this Sherpa jacket is from Levi's Made and Crafted, their premium brand that they started in 2009. I've got a little couple of notes about them right here. To quote Levi's, a step above the norm, something that feels authentic to the brand, but also gives a sense of newness and modernity, designed with a premium twist. The Levi's Premium, the cheaper jacket, is made in Cambodia, and the more expensive Levi's Made and Crafted is made in Turkey. So first up, before I go into it, we often associate the country of origin with quality, and that often can be a false equivalency, I suppose. If you think about countries like India or China, they don't just make cheap products. In fact, a lot of factories and like mill production in India and China are state of the art. They are the best in the world. So we can't always judge a book by its cover. However, I will say this. The Made and Crafted is made in Turkey. And Turkey, I typically associate with kind of what I call quasi-luxury brands. Think like Sandro. They will do a lot of production in Turkey. And in fact, high luxury brands will sometimes do production in Turkey, probably because, you know, it's close to a lot of the countries in Europe that are designing the garments. But like I said, take it all with a grain of salt. I don't think it always tells us exactly what we're looking to see. Let's look at the details now. With the Levi's Premium, the jacket that I said you can typically buy for $60. And I say that because Levi's runs sales so often. Just wait for Christmas, Thanksgiving, after Christmas, 
any holiday, they usually do 50 to 40% off. The internal tag at the top of the jacket, it's like a nice leather patch. Underneath it is like a, what do you call it? A knit tag that looks like what you might expect in a luxury garment. Compared to the Levi's made and crafted, the more expensive brand by far, the tag kind of looks cheap. There is a little indicator that says made in Turkey, but if I was just going by tags alone, I would assume the Levi's premium is the better piece. The Levi's vintage cut premium jacket is a typical Sherpa. That means that it's covered in this, you know, this uh, fake shirling throughout compared to the Levi's Made and Crafted, which has the shirling detail on the collar and has the quilted lining. The Levi's Premium, the uh, lining, this Sherpa material is recycled polyester, which depending on where you stand would be a plus in your book. It feels, you know, soft, it feels pretty soft. It feels like fleece. In terms of which seems like they're going to be warmer, I wouldn't say that the Sherpa is actually less warm than the quilted, as they might they try to indicate on the website. The premium vintage fit Sherpa has snap button closure in front. It's got this kind of washed blue jeans wash, I guess you would say. Classic One thing wash. that I always pay attention to when I'm looking at denim, especially ones that are like pre-washed, is how the fades look. Creating authentic looking fades on mass produced products isn't easy. It's really hard to get very nice and really authentic looking fades. Fades that look like somebody had a raw denim jacket and wore it and washed it to the point where it started to get to this lighter blue color. If you want to see brands that do this well, I would look at Visvim or even Ralph Lauren, how the fading is more detailed, it's more complex. And that process requires, literally, somebody has to physically produce that fade in a certain way. This jacket, it looks like there might have been kind of those techniques, but more or less, it's uh, a mass produced type of thing. So the fades are fine, but they don't look up close like real authentic fades. And in terms of the stitching, it, it's what you might expect from a product at this price point. You know, there's like one loose thread up here that I noticed. The details on the Made and Crafted, the more expensive jacket, aren't honestly drastically different than the much cheaper vintage fit one. Rivet buttons, like a typical trucker jacket instead of the snap buttons. We've got the oversized Sherpa collar. This Sherpa panel detail on the back. And like right off the bat, yes, this is more or less a trendier cut. This is a woman's garment technically, and the oversized boxy cropped look is very trendy right now. Elongated sleeves, shorter in the body. Yeah, we can always kind of put a little bit of a premium on a trendier garment. I think the reason that the Levi's premium is like $20 more than, the, than just the mainline Sherpa jacket probably has more to do with it seems to be a cooler cut right now so they think they can charge a little bit more. The Levi's Made and Crafted is even cooler of awesome. a cut, you might say. So maybe they decided we can get away with it. But the brand, the brand Levi's Made and Crafted, if you look at their website, they do all this lore to kind of insinuate that this is like cool, trendy, modern clothing, but made in an authentic and traditional Levi's way to make it more premium. And I'm not seeing it, at least. I'm not seeing it. We have a really similar kind of fade look to the other Sherpa jacket. I bet it's faded in a very similar way. I didn't see the same loose thread detailing, but the stitching on the more expensive jacket doesn't look exceptionally better or feel exceptionally better. Let's now talk about the materials. Today, when you're looking at mainline or even premium line Levi's, you can expect a denim weight of somewhere around 10 to 12 ounces. That's what I saw online. But they don't really say it on the website. They don't really say it on the garment tags. You kind of have to guess. With Levi's Made and Crafted, they do mention that it is 
a 13 ounce denim. So they, they want to come out and say like, it's a higher quality denim and the 13 ounce is closer to the weight that they used to produce during like the 70s, 80s and 90s. So this is supposed to be like a throwback, so to speak. The Levi's Premium, the cheaper jacket despite the name, is probably in like a 10 or 12 ounce denim. And there isn't any indication that this is an organically or sustainably grown cotton to make this denim, but it is 100% cotton as well, so there's no stretch. Here is kind of the brass tacks of it though. Both jackets in hand, I don't really see the difference in the denim quality. I can definitely tell when different textiles are of a different weight. And whether or not that makes them more premium, it doesn't necessarily, but you could definitely usually tell. And at least for me, a denim of a heavier weight usually is a more rugged, a more premium feeling denim. I cannot tell the difference. Putting my hand to it, it does not feel any more thin. It begs the question whether or not there is any denim difference. Maybe this is a 13 ounce as well and they just don't advertise it because they don't think the consumer is interested in hearing that. They don't care maybe. Why is the Made and Crafted so much more expensive? We were promised a premium twist. So what I've got on right now is a Levi's trucker jacket with quilted lining from around 1990, I'm guessing. This was given to me by the good people at Fieldhouse. Check them out, check out my old video. And it's a pretty cool jacket. By comparison, this is probably around the 13, 14 ounce that Levi's used to use, I think up until the 2000s. And it's also uh, made in America. So Levi's had a few factories in America that they typically used and it was likely from one of those. The jacket, and I'll show you close-ups, has an authentic fade. And if you compare the two, this just looks way cooler. There is a level of detail and kind of, you know, and maybe sometimes it's something that we don't even notice, but it's so clear that the fading on this just looks more dynamic and interesting. There's the little bit of wear and tear that you would expect from a jacket this old. There's kind of the yellowing that is like a cool fading effect that I really like. And it is a size large. So it actually fits just like the Levi's Premium Vintage Fit. So they did nail the fit. They definitely did copy the same 1990s aesthetic like this one. I think this jacket is a higher quality. And I was really skeptical about that because I, I have skepticism about people who fetishize just it's uh, like these heritage brands and saying that oh they were better in the past this jacket does feel better the denim feels more rugged the fading being more authentic looks cooler and the kind of little things like these buttons feel a lot more secure the eternal pocket is good um overall kind of really nice you know this one doesn't have the sherpa detailing it just has kind of lining all throughout but it, it's pretty warm it's a nice lining like i could wear this with a hoodie and i would feel warm so what do you do going forward with this knowledge if you can pick up the sherpa jacket for the you know discounted price which levi's does pretty frequently i don't think that's a bad choice but if you're willing to look around eBay, Grailed, your local vintage shop, you might be able to find a vintage 90s, 80s, whatever, lines jacket like this. And typically, depending on where you're picking it up, it could go for anywhere from $100, maybe even $60 too. The difference is not only just kind of a nostalgic thing, like you've got an old garment, so to speak, but it also kind of, there is a material difference. It feels a, like better constructed. And I'm, I'm passing this off to you guys because I've been kind of interested in looking into this. I'd love to go into more detail about vintage Levi's, identifying them, what the quality differences are, what makes them better or not. 
Um, so let me know in the comments down below if that's something you might be interested in hearing more about. But in terms of picking up a lined trucker jacket from Levi's, I would avoid Made and Crafted right now. I, I, unless I see other garments by them, I'm not that intrigued. However, the one thing that I did leave out is the Levi's Vintage brand. If I do a follow-up about like vintage Levi's and identifying them, I think I would like to pick up one of Levi's quote-unquote vintage products because I'd like to see if they successfully kind of recreate the same quality of their older garments. So you guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments. You picking up a trucker jacket? And as always, catch you on the flip side.